Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some problems regarding the lab winding and the wave winding. So before that, we will discuss one statement in the last session. The statement is, if the same machine is connected for lap and wave winding, lap and wave winding depends on the application, depends on the application. So sometimes it required, so if one machine is connected in lap winding, for example, the same machine will be converted into the wave winding. How? So in the lap winding, it requires the more current. So for that case, if if you want to if you want that the more voltage that time the lap winding can be converted into the wave winding then we will get the more voltage. So only one machine it can be operated for the both lap winding as well as the wave winding, right? Next, the problem is in a six pole DC generator the ratio of generated EMFs for lap winding and wave windings respectively. So for the solution here he mentioned it is a six pole so it consists of the number of poles are six and the question is ratio of emfs for lap winding and the wave winding so this is for the lap winding and the wave winding this is the question actually this is the question so in order to find out that it's very simple you know that in lap winding the number of parallel paths is nothing but number of poles. That means number of parallel paths in the lap winding will be equal to the 6. In case of wave winding, wave winding, the number of parallel paths always 2. So irrespective of the poles, it consisting of the number of poles is 2. Uh, number of parallel paths is 2. So that's why AW is 2. Just simply substitute this value. That is AL by AW equal to AL equal to 6 and AW equal to 2. So we will get AL by AW equal to 3 is to 1. So number of parallel paths 3 is to 1. We are getting the number of parallel paths. And you, you know the relation between the EMF generated and the number of parallel paths. That is the EMF generation in parallel paths is like this. The formula is EMF generated in the lap winding and EMF generated in the wave winding is nothing but it's a reverse AW by AL. AW by AL. So just reverse it, you will get the EW by EL by EW equal to 1 by 3. 1 by 3. So the EMF generated in the lap winding to wave winding equal 1 is to 3. So just simple, just take the parallel paths, then substitute in the values, then you will get that. Okay, next problem. Here the next problem is a 6 pole lap wound DC generator has an armature resistance of 0 0.06. If the machine is connected in the wave winding, then it's armature resistance. Okay. Here the question is he given six pole lap wound DC generator. So that's why we have the number of poles are six and it is lap so lap winding lap winding and he, we, he given the armature resistance is 0 0.06 ohm. So in the lap winding generally the winding is connected like this. The winding is it have six number of parallel parts. Six number of parallel parts. So each having some resistance. Each having some resistance. So this is one, two, three, and four, five, six. Four, five, six. So this is parallel path one like that same parallel paths we have six number of parallel paths so these are the six number of parallel paths and it have the complete armature resistance that value is the 0 0.06 0 0.06 so you know that here 
we have RA value. From this, we can find out the parallel path resistance. How we can find out the parallel path resistance? Here we have the six parallel path resistance. Those are connected in parallelly. So I can write 1 by 6 RP plus 1 by RP and up to 7, 1 by RP will be equal to the R major resistance. That is the 0 0.06. So I can write this is the 6 by RP that is the 0 0.06. From this we will get the parallel path resistance equal to 6 by we will get RP equal to the 0 0.06 by 6. So we will get 0 0.01 ohms. 0 0.01 ohms. Okay. So, 6 by RP, here we did a small mistake, that is, uh, the mistake is a simple thing. So, in the parallel connection system, the complete resistance will be represented like this, 1 by RA. So, from that, we can modify like this. We have here 6 resistances, those are connected in parallel, that will be equal to the sum resistance, we can write like this. 1 by RP, 1 by R, 1 by 6 RP equal RA. So that's why I can write this is 6 by parallel path resistance equal to 1 by R major resistance. From this 6 by RP, we need parallel path resistance and we have the RA, RA value is the 0 0.06. From this, we can find out the parallel path resistance equal to 6 into 0 0.06. So by using that, we will get parallel path resistance equal to 0.36 ohms. So the parallel path resistance we will get as the 0.36 ohms. So, but the, what is the condition he is asking? He is asking to find out the, if the machine is connected wave winding, then it's armature resistance. If the machine is connected wave winding means half of the turns will be one, one path and half of the turns will be one path. So that's why I can manage to right like this that is so this is the one path and this is the second part and this is the third part here also this is the one path and this is the another path and this is the another path yeah so these will be connected like this from this we can easily manage and each parallel path resistance we already know that that is the 0.636 and the 0.36 and the 0.36 here also we have same thing that is the 0.36 and the 0.36 and also the 0.36 this complete will be given by the armature resistance so for that we should find out the the complete resistance value by combining all these you will get 1.08 ohm 1.08 ohm here is also the 1.08 ohm. So to get this armature resistance, the armature resistance value is like this. So for that purpose, I will write the single resistance. The single resistance is a one path and here the single resistance is the another path. Another path. Here this resistance value equal to 1.08 ohms and for one parallel path and another parallel path is this is also the 1.08 ohms. So, we require the armature resistance. Whenever two resistance are the like this, I can directly write the armature resistance value. What is that armature resistance value? So, the armature resistance value equaled 1.08 by 2. If there are 2 is there, then we will get 0.54 we will get the 0.54 ohms so therefore when the machine is when the machine is connected in connected in wave winding connected in wave winding the armature resistance equal the armature resistance value is 
resistance value is 0 0.54 0 0.54 ohms so in the question itself in the lab winding he mentioned the armature resistance winding is 0 0.06 for the six poles when it is comes to the wave winding the armature resistance will be varied that is the 0.54 ohms 0.54 ohms okay these are the small models regarding to the lab winding and the wave winding i hope all of you understand the session thank you